an educational video by Patanjali Rishikul Prayagraj for class 5 subject English language topic types of pronouns Good morning dear students I hope you all are well at your homes and are studying regularly Children you have already learned about nouns in today's video we are going to learn about pronouns so what are pronouns pronouns are words that can be used in place of nouns or in other words you can say that pronouns are replacements or substitutes for nouns the prefix pro means for p r o stands for for all right so pronouns stand in for nouns so in today's video we learn pronouns in detail so let's get started a quick recap a pronoun is a word that is used in place of a noun we use pronouns because if we keep repeating the nouns our sentences will look awkward so children that is why we use pronouns in the sentences to avoid the repetition of nouns so pronouns are words that replace nouns or in other words we can say that are used instead of nouns children there are six types of pronouns number 1 personal pronouns number 2 reflexive pronouns number 3 emphatic pronouns number 4 demonstrative pronouns number 5 interrogative pronouns and number 6 possessive pronouns Personal pronouns, pronouns which are used in place of the names of persons or animals or things are called personal pronouns. Examples, the book is lying on the table, pick it up. Rita is a good student, she completes her homework every day. Meena and Sia are friends, they live in Delhi. Here the words it, she and they are personal pronouns. Reflexive pronouns. Reflexive pronouns are used when the object of the verb is also the subject of the verb. Examples, I helped myself. Here the word myself is the object of the verb helped. Myself and I stand for the same person. So the object is also the subject. Number two, they hurt themselves during the game. Here the word themselves is the object of the verb hurt. Themselves and they stand for the same person. So the object is also the subject. The words myself, ourselves, yourself, himself, herself, itself and themselves are reflexive pronouns. Emphatic pronouns an emphatic pronoun is used with a noun or pronoun to draw attention or just to emphasize. Example, I myself solved the sum. He himself is the best judge. Myself, ourselves, yourself, himself, herself are some emphatic pronouns. They are simply used to draw attention or just to emphasize. Children, you need to remember that reflexive and emphatic pronouns always end in self or selves. Demonstrative pronouns. 
A demonstrative pronoun is a pronoun that is used to point out the object or objects which it refers to. Examples, this is a pen, that is a bag, these are pencils, those are books. Here the words this, that, these and those are pronouns. Since they point out to object or objects that they refer to, they are called demonstrative pronouns. Children, the words this, that, these and those are also used as demonstrative adjectives. But there is a difference between demonstrative adjectives and demonstrative pronouns. A demonstrative adjective is placed before a noun, whereas a demonstrative pronoun is usually placed before a verb. Interrogative pronouns An interrogative pronoun is a pronoun which is used for asking a question. Examples What is the matter? Whom do you want to meet? Which is your book? Who has come to meet me? In these sentences, the words what, whom, which and who are pronouns. They are used for asking questions and are known as interrogative pronouns. Children, the words which and what are also used as interrogative adjectives. But there is a difference between interrogative adjectives and interrogative pronouns. An interrogative adjective is placed before a noun, whereas an interrogative pronoun is placed before a verb. Possessive pronouns. Possessive pronouns show ownership. Examples, the book is mine. The pencil is yours. The red pack is hers. The house is ours. The hotel is theirs. The laptop is his. Here the words mine, yours, hers, ours, theirs, his show ownership or possession and are known as possessive pronouns. We don't use apostrophe with possessive pronouns. Thank you for watching the video students. Stay at home, stay safe and keep learning.